Hey guys, welcome back to Heroes of the Storm Let's Play. Now on this one, we're going to be going through the Haunted Mines, uh, and we're going to be playing a healer class. So this will be a little different, uh, unlike other ones where I can pretty much go wherever I want and do uh, things on my own. A healer class has to stick with somebody else. Uh, I found Zerga uh, to be the best class so far to stick with. They can do a, a decent amount of damage and can take decent amount of hits. Uh, so they're really nice to kind of, uh, you know, pair along with. But there's other classes as well. Like, Diablo's not too bad. Uh, unfortunately, he takes hits uh, rather hard, uh, even though he's a melee class. And healing him uh, is kind of difficult. Uh, the Archangel from uh, Diablo, however, is a pretty good class as well. Uh, they don't take hits nearly as bad as most other classes. So healing them is not that big of a deal. Uh, plus, uh, you know they can do pretty much uh, a decent amount of damage as well. Unfortunately, the Achilles heel to this class that I've seen so far is that they are always short on power. At the very beginning of the game, it's really bad. Uh, later on, you can put talent points into certain things uh, that will make it a little bit less, like lowering the, the mana cost or power cost of certain spells and increasing your power regeneration. I'm not quite sure why it's taking so long to load into this. Again, it's alpha in development, so there are a few hiccups here and there. Uh, but overall, I think the game is pretty polished. I haven't seen really that big of a deal with the, a lot of the stuff that they have. A few characters, I believe, are a little overpowered. Choose a talent. Uh, it's really uh, get ready for combat, heroes. Choppy here. I guess they must be having quite a load on their server tonight. So as I said, this class, for, her class right here seems to be the best one to group with. Ten seconds. There we go. Hopefully it will clear up. There it goes. It's clearing out. Finally. And this guy right here, as I said before, the Archangel, he's actually really good. So the fact that I got both of them here uh, is a good sign, a good start. Uh, hopefully they will stick together and see just uh, how uh, helpful it is to have a healer in the background. Again, you always want to hide so that the other team doesn't know that you're uh, you know, waiting for them to, to pop out. Basically, all our guys up here on the top. Hopefully, this lag does not last much longer because it's ridiculous. And that's Diablo right there, smacking me. Fortunately, I had to heal myself. I'm gonna run back over here and grab me a heal as well as some power. I wouldn't hurt, especially with such a uh, awkward start there. Yeah. As you can see, the spells take a while to come back. Uh, that can be fixed later on as well going. Maybe he's going to get some health and power as well. Pop a heal on him. Pop a shield. Fortunately, that pretty much puts me out of commission for now. Right, until I can get uh, the recharge. Pop a shield on him. None of those don't last very long. Pretty much all I can do. I'm out of power. Close to it. Ha, good enough. Play the undead and claim their skulls, heroes. I'm the only one here. Oh, now finally we got somebody back. I am out of power. I'm gonna Let's follow go. my guys in, even though I'm pretty worthless right now because I don't have any power left. Pop a heal on them. Increase chain lightning shield. This is the one I want right here. Regenerate health and mana faster. Now the health really isn't that big of a deal. Uh, it's the power that I want. Heal thyself, friend. My thanks. Here we go. Run over here. Toss this down. 
Now we're losing the battle on the skulls, where you need to get back in there and get some more. Winds guide my path. Some more. Remember, you always want to get the skulls as soon as they fall. Don't worry about finishing off the enemy. Uh, if the enemy is, uh, you know, if they're, the heroes are nearby. Here we go. Drop this down. Back up a little. As you can see, uh, what I was saying, they just ran right by us and snagged all the... Oh, this is pretty hectic. I can't really help my guys out because I'm out of health. They're out of power. This is not going to end well for us. Come back up here. Now both our golems are appearing, but theirs is going to be slightly more powerful than ours. Uh, as you can see, ours is 41, theirs is 59. Uh, it's not a huge difference, but it does make a, uh, a slight you know, all to go into mines when they open. Your golem is complete. Now, if you see my health and my power is going up dramatically a lot faster, as soon as it's full, I'm going to go ahead and run down here where all my guys are. I smell their fear. Now, you should keep in mind that the golem does not stop for enemies. He just runs right past them and goes towards the buildings. get down here in time. That's also a healer class right there. Uh, so he's not going to be able to do too uh, terribly good against uh, all these guys. Uh, lightning shield, also good shield. Go ahead and toss this up. Fortunately, it's just us two healers. That's really... Crappy combo. Okay, we got the Zerg character over here. And we got this guy over here. Let us defend this Snag this one in the area. Toss him another heal. As you can see he has quite a bit of health. Understood. I'm gonna run down here as fast as possible. I have to back up with the wolf warm on first. so many of them. The safe wager. Toss a shield on him. Uh, finally we have some people showing up. I don't know, having this many healers is such a good thing. I would actually prefer to have one less healer and one more DPS. Like movement speed and attack speed. I'm going to go with this one. Awesome, this guy. The other one would be kind of a nice little uh, attack. Uh, make you more a... Uh, almost like a shaman versus a cleric, you know? Give, you'd be able to buff your guys up. And that would have been the first time I'd be able to use that one. I'm definitely going to use it on the next match just to try it out. But because we're not doing too hot, I figured, you know, go ahead and go straight healing up on this one. Look, go ahead and go and stick together. Do you hear that clattering? I believe now they're coming in any second. I saw them all following us. 
I smell their fear. Just a matter of time. There they are. Cast it, cast it, cast it. There we go. It's like a lay a hand for the paladin. Those of you who played EverQuest 1 know exactly what I'm talking about. Now it does no good to just sit here and wait for him. Uh, although you're blocking the entrance, so that's always a good thing. Understood. Get down here and heal my guy. Fortunately, I'm bringing a lot of trouble up here with us. It's Diablo's little spell right there. Now they're really waiting for us just to take the hits, uh, and then they're coming and clear us all out. This healer guy, and he really needs to stop wasting my power and get out of the combat's way. Fortunately, I'm pretty much done. That's it right there. I can get away in time. <laughs> there we go. A safe wager. Let my golems rise again. Choose a talent. Let's see what I can do on this one. Increase chain healing amount and healing target. I'll do that one. Right away. I got another healer with me. Oh, there we go. Zerg, at least somebody that can do some damage. And Raynor. And the Archangel. Basically everybody. Go ahead and pop my heal spell down. Just wait for it. You can see they're taking advantage of it. They're attacking in droves. Which basically leaves their golem down here uh, just all alone. Uh, to pretty much just get beat uh, up. Uh, and now they're going back to basically do the same thing they were doing to our golem uh, that we're doing to theirs. Uh, we'll put this on and head back down. Done, healer. Our golem is still making pretty good damage. Took out one building. And there's four of them here, so. Let's see how well we can do. Ah, uh, almost had him. Well timed. Go ahead and toss this on the guy. Understood. Although I hate to waste that on him because he really is not doing very much damage. Uh, but every person who dies gives experience to the other team, so. Let's go. Keep up that healing. Uh, we need more help down here. Progress here now. Double kill. Double. Come on, let me get to him in time. As long as I don't get too far ahead of the crowd, I think we're going to make a pretty good the push here. Uh, nobody to heal, actually. And 
toss his uh, totems and root. We'll go ahead and do that. Basically means I can cast it further away without having to get so close to battle. Mine's going to open up in about 20 seconds. I'm just following them. It looks like they're heading into the mines. Now you can head into the mines early. Which is apparently what the Raynor character is doing. The dead shall soon return. Prepare yourselves, heroes. Enter, hero. Now the other teams followed us in, so they're going to be here any minute. Uh, and they're going to be doing uh, pretty much the same thing they did last time, where they took us out pretty quick. Uh, unless we're all together as a team. Here they all are. Again, you can just sneak right by, snag him. There we go, I think I saved his life. Unfortunately, I'm too stunned to be able to do very much else. Toss a shield on him. There you go. Rise, golems. Rise and let loose your wrath. So you can see ours was uh, better right than theirs, 68 to 32. Go ahead and toss my little totem down. Gonna need to go ahead and toss my wolf form back on. Actually, I'll come down here tossing the heal real quick. The golems return. Yours is far more powerful. Stay down here, this guy needs some help. Destroy. Hopefully uh, Raynor up there on the top is able to handle it. Double. You can see my power is going up uh, pretty good. I mean, I haven't really needed... Tosses down. Let's see, what are they waiting for? They have the damage per second, I'm just the healer. Crap. Why would you jump into the middle of combat like that? That was just stupid of him. Stay close to uh, the healing totem if you guys happen to see those there. Uh, we might actually destroy that building in time. There we go. Now Diablo has basically a wrestling move that picks you up and slams you behind him. It doesn't stun you or anything like that, but it does change your position if he uses it at the right time. So, you know, everybody can pretty much block you from trying to get out. The safe wager. Need more power. It's a Hyperion warship that Raynor cast as his special. <laughs> Ability of level 10. Much obliged. Two healers, a tank, 
and a ranged specialist. Let's see what we got. Basic attacks, grants ill. Do that one. Get up in the middle of everybody. Drop my shield where everybody can get use of it. Get out of here so I stop taking hits. Put my totem down in the middle of all of them. There we go. I am out of power, unfortunately, though. But we got their base down to 30. I can pop a shield on everybody. And that's how you do it, guys, right there. Let's see how much experience I get for doing this one. Yeah, these maps are actually really cool because you can play it over and over and over again. And every time you play the game, it's completely different because of the players you're playing with. Uh, you know, and the different classes they have. And the way they go about specializing those classes with their talents. I got another level. Advanced talents right there. Again, guys, if you like these videos, please hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment below, or as always, hit me up in game. Thanks again for watching.